where buses from Texas dropped off migrants this morning. CNBC's Shamari Stone near the vice president's home where their journey ended on Mass Avenue. Shamari. Well, Tyler, the Secret Service and immigration volunteers say they were caught off guard when the buses dropped off the migrants behind me. Many of these asylum seekers are from Venezuela and Cuba. They were processed by federal immigration officials in Texas, and now many are at local churches here in D.C. The migrants arrived carrying blankets, pillows, and plastic bags. David Morales, a migrant from Venezuela, he says he endured a very long trip, quite tough. We didn't expect to be left adrift here without knowing where to head to. Texas Governor Greg Abbott defending the move, tweeting, Our supposed border czar, VP Harris, has yet to see firsthand the impact of the open border policies she has helped implement. The arrival coming just days after the vice president said on Meet the Press Sunday. The border is secure, but we also have a broken immigration system, in particular over the last four years before we came in and it needs to be fixed. In New York City, Mayor Eric Adams today touring a new welcome center for migrants. He admits the city's shelters are being overwhelmed. We need help. But vow to keep housing asylum seekers. This is a crisis. And during crises, there are two types of New Yorkers. There are those who play I got you and stay on the outside and complain. And then there are those who roll up their sleeves and just get stuff done. That's who we are. Republicans seizing on the immigration issue ahead of the midterm elections. They are beginning to experience just a little bit of what the state of Texas and other border uh, communities have experienced for years. Democrats blasting it as a stunt. There is no question that the governors of Arizona and Florida and Texas are using migrants as pawns in their political campaigns.